my name is Carrie Stokes. I live in Sacramento, California, and I have a blog called Read Between the Limes. And I'm here to show you my garden today. And this is my front yard. Um, we started this garden because we're getting water meters, and we're on a third of an acre full of lawn, and I wanted to cut my water costs. So we ripped out our lawn and put plants that we can actually use, a lot of edibles, and a mix of natives and um, just pretty flowers, honestly. And I switched to drip lines because not only does it make my life easier with less weeds and I don't have to worry about watering all this by hand, but it also helps me uh, water each plant based on its specific water needs. So what we've done here is we've converted all of our existing lawn sprinklers to drip lines and I use a lot of the emitter tubing um, for my annuals along the pathways here and I use an individual drip lines ran to each other of my, uh, my perennial plants. I also like to use the emitter tubing with my fruit trees because it gives me a nice canopy coverage for water. Along our pathways we use soaker drip lines and it's six inch emitters. We use these for uh, our lettuces and our radishes and our carrots. Um, along the main perimeter of the fence, we um, have a main line and we have our individual emitters run off of that for our perennials. Um, so we have our pomegranates, our quince trees, um, citrus trees, that kind of stuff that gets watered off of that line. So some of the reasons why we switch to drip lines is um, not only because it saves me time since I'm just delivering water to where the plants are, so I don't have as much weeding, um, but it's also healthier for the plants because I'm not doing any type of overhead watering, so less disease um, for the plants, which is great. Um, but it also frees up time since, since the drip emitters are all on a timer, I'm able to go away for 10 days or a weekend and not have to worry about my yard suffering from lack of water. Um, so all the drip lines here are hidden under mulch. You don't have to worry about tripping over them. The neighbors don't have to worry about seeing them when they walk by. This is a very high traffic street for walkers and they'll never see a single drip line while they're enjoying the flowers.